Letting Go by David R. Hawkins is a book about the feelings that make up his map of consciousness and releasing these accumulated feelings, attitudes, and beliefs that are stuck in the mind and body. According to Hawkins, the primary human goal is survival, and the mind uses emotions as its method to help ensure survival. Thoughts are created from the emotion, and each emotion encompasses thousands of thoughts. A person's thoughts will determine how they will use their natural talents or skill sets, and that will determine their successes or failures. But it's the feelings behind those thoughts that will produce the kind of thinking that could lead to their successes or failures. Most people handle their negative feelings in three ways through suppression, expression, or escaping. Suppression occurs when the feelings are pushed down and aside. A person will suffer through them and try to keep functioning as best as they can. Expression occurs through venting the feeling or even expressing it through body language. Expressing a feeling can give the negative feeling even more energy. Also, if a person vents their negative feelings to another person, they in turn are forced to suppress, express, or escape from their feelings from that event. Escaping occurs by avoiding the feelings and using other means as a form of distraction. This is how most addictions or coping mechanisms are developed, such as alcohol, drug abuse, shopping, overeating, overworking, excessive TV, or internet usage. Hawkins developed the map of consciousness originally in his book, Power vs. Force, but the emotions are discussed in depth in Letting Go. Apathy It's characterized by the belief of, I can't. The way out of apathy is for a person to remind themselves of their intention to become more effective and happy. Another way out is to look at the rewards of feeling apathetic. Could it be due to excuses that are covering up fear? Or due to victimhood mentality and blaming somebody else? Grief is characterized by the feelings of sadness and loss. The way out of grief is surrendering to the feeling and letting it be released. Then the person can move from grief to acceptance. Fear. It has many forms. Mild example is anxiety. Chronic is worrying. Extreme is paranoia. Fear is the predominant emotion of the world. The way out of fear is surrendering to the feeling, healing, and replacing the emotion with love. To highlight a summary of each energetic state. Desire. Is characterized by the underlying emotion of drivenness. The way out of desire is knowing whether the wanting is through conscious choice or from subconscious programming and beliefs. At this level is the having that gives a person the feelings of value and worthiness in the world. Anger. It has many forms. Mild example is resentment. Extreme is rage. The feeling of anger is pretty self-explanatory. But an important thing to know is that there is a lot of energy in anger and it can be used positively as a technique to move from inaction to action. Also note, there could be other underlying emotions that is the source of anger. The underlying emotions could be fear or hurtful pride or unrecognized self-sacrifice. Knowing what the source of anger is coming from could help to dissipate the underlying and superficial emotions. Pride. Pride could be seen as a positive feeling, but if you look at it more closely, the feeling of love is missing. Therefore, pride is still a negative emotional state that a person will need to be aware of. A person's energy when they are prideful is spent defending their appearance, lifestyle choices, and belief systems. They will be vulnerable to the constant opinion of others as long as they are prideful. When pride is relinquished, inner security can take its place and they will no longer have to defend their image, be afraid of criticism, or personal attacks. As a result, they will no longer need validation from others. Here's a highlighted summary of each peaceful state. Courage. It's characterized by the belief of I can. At this stage, a person can be inventive, creative, and open to ideas. They're willing to grow, admit mistakes without guilt or self-punishment. They're willing to be uncertain or confused at times about their next steps in order to achieve their goal. Acceptance. It's characterized by a feeling of harmony and security. In this state, self-love starts to radiate from within them to other people, and there is an understanding that everybody is doing the best that they can at any given moment. There is also the step of taking personal responsibility of one's consciousness and self-growth. Love. It's characterized by the feelings of nurture and affection and forgiveness. Love is a way of being, as it's the energy that radiates when blocks have been surrendered. Once a person is willing to accept love, they can realize that love is present everywhere and can give love as well. Through a continued surrender, a person can reach unconditional love states, and this is only experienced by 0.04% of the population. 
Unconditional love means there is no hidden agenda, no attachment, no record keeping. Love and forgiveness is given to everybody and everything, including the worst of the worst. At the highest state of love, there is a feeling of oneness. There is no past or future, no separation between the individual and the rest of the universe. Hawkins describes this state as profound. The letting go process can help a person to emotionally grow as a person may have limited thoughts and negative beliefs about themselves as a result of all the negative feelings. When the feelings are let go, the thought patterns they hold can change from I can't to I can. The negative energy that had been held down is now freed for constructive use, and the available energy can now be used for creativity, growth, work, and interpersonal relationships. The letting go process can help a person to solve problems by letting go of the underlying feeling that started the question in the first place, and then the true answer will come. The letting go process can also help a person identify if lifestyle changes are needed, as these choices could have been based from a place of fear, anger, guilt, or pride. As these negative feelings are let go, a person moves to courage, and at this level, they may start to question on whether they want to continue these activities or not. If they decide to continue, then invariably, they will look at it from a different light and do it out of enjoyment and not out of obligation. And finally, Hawkins believes the letting go process can profoundly transform a person's life in the areas of health, wealth, and happiness. And health. A person is typically consumed with worries about their body, worried about its appearance, fears of sickness, disease, and eventually death. There's a lot of attention to diet, weight, and exercise, and at the end of the day, The person will feel drained from all this. A person typically will identify themselves as, I am a body, which is a limited level of consciousness. As they begin to let go of their fears and debunk their old belief systems, their perception may shift from, I am a body, to, I have a body, with the realization that the mind is where all the power lies, as there is no perception of the body without the mind. In the mind, thoughts, feelings, perceptions can be shifted, and the body can follow suit. Then, the body can start to self-heal itself from various chronic conditions. Wealth. This is an important topic where a person can easily begin to identify their limiting beliefs. Hawkins suggests sitting down and writing all the various areas that money impacts. Then write down the feelings associated with them. So, for example, if the goal is to be respected and valued, then the true underlying feeling is self-respect and a feeling of inner worth. Then, it can be worked on without directly achieving monetary goals. Money is then seen as a part of the higher goal of improving self-respect and inner worth and not the end goal. In this surrender state, a person could be free from insecurity and low self-esteem. It can be replaced by inner feelings of fulfillment, gratitude, and satisfaction. And happiness. Hawkins advocates the more is let go, the more the world is de-glamorized and the less it runs people's lives. They can no longer be manipulated by it, no longer be vulnerable to the media, political, and social systems and they can stop seeking the approval of others. At that point, the person can love themselves for who they are and love others for the same reason.